Don Alberto is painting on our solar plexus a shield that the natives would use to prepare for war. The ink taken from Witosi will fade in a week time, but the protection of ancestor is going to stay with us forever. We are a tribe now. Just like selfish children, we ask, take and devastate nature around us. But the natives always pay back their debt of gratitude to Pachamama, our mother earth, with prayers, channelings and offerings. What is an offering? Hmm? Any, anybody? What is an offering? Gift. It's a gift, right? What else? Good. What else? Thank. Thanks, huh? Gratitude, right? Hmm? From who? Hmm? From ourselves, right? To who? To, to the Earth, Earth. Right? There's a beautiful teaching in the Andes. There's a beautiful teaching in the Amazon jungle. They say, if the Earth is healthy... You are healthy. Huh? If the Earth is happy... You are happy. Right? So, what are we going to do? It's an offering. Can we do an offering hmm? if we are not clean and happy? We can do it, but it's not going to get, it's going to take all what we can give. So, before doing that offering, we have this beautiful moment with Don Alberto to do another clean hmm? The ceremony of water is about to begin. It's a challenge for all of us due to the freezing winter temperature. Water cleans us up, energizes us, makes us humble and childlike again, and regenerates the cells of which we are made. Every day we should connect with water, the big spirit Shatoto. You did it. I did it. I did it. Calling on Shatoto means connecting with water of all seas, rivers, lakes, but also with the water that constitute the cells of every being in our variegated world. This seminar was organized by Lars Faber, who for many years now has been leading a group of people initiated into the sacred ayahuasca ceremony. Thanks to his groups, seminars and meetings, he's now a leading figure throughout the country. Why did you come here? Um, to learn. Um, and um, to learn a bit more about spiritual again. And, um, I found uh, Earth, actually. You mean that you were looking for something spiritual and then you find the Earth? Yes, yeah, their myself. teaching is not, is not very abstract, it's very... Yes, it's yeah. very down to Earth. The teaching. The most that I'm a plant myself. <laughs> and uh, uh, I can easily um, communicate with myself if I'm on that level of energy, being a plant. <laughs> uh, that everything is truly connected and one. Uh, and that you as an individual can make a difference in connecting to other people and other things in nature and you can really touch them uh, because of my sickness 
and my uh, busy life in the past. Uh, that's why I went sick. I tried to find uh, a good balance in my body uh, to cure for my uh, sickness. I only did uh, a lot of physical, uh, physical life and uh, emotional, uh, spiritual. I don't do anything with it. Tell me why you came here. Why? Why you came here? To meditate, to find my spirits. <laughs> Spirit, <laughs> spiritual warriors. Spiritual, yeah, to become spiritual warriors. <laughs> yeah, and to gain strength and yeah, and brave, and to become good healers for uh, Pachamama. Yeah, we will give you love. Oh, no, we always blow. Uh, we can blow the love.